Happy Halloween, everybody, and thank you for watching my Oogie Boogie costume tutorial. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Let's get started. I bought a round mask from the dollar store. Any mask will work as long as it has a lot of surface area to work on. Then I took some cardboard and hot glued it to the bottom of the mask. I cut small slits into it so that it would open up and create more room just for Oogie's mouth to sit on. This mask is just kind of going to be a mold. Now it's time to mold Oogie's face. I'm using Crayola Model Magic Clay. It's perfect for this because it dries super lightweight. That's perfect for a mask because you don't want anything weighing down your face. You don't need to mold his face 100% perfectly because it's just meant to give structure to the fabric that we use. What you want to focus on is making sure that his nose area is flat because he doesn't have a nose and also that the eye sockets and his mouth really protrude. Let the clay dry for as long as it needs and then carefully remove it from the dollar store mask or whatever mask you used. If yours is thick like mine, make sure you let the inside dry as well, but lay it down with the, the sides propped up so it maintains its shape. I used a few layers of black tulle layered together and hot glued them on the inside of the mask for the eye sockets. I don't remember how many layers I used, but I used just enough that the eye sockets looked black, but I could still see through them. I did the same process for the mouth, except I used black felt. In these next parts, ignore the brown felt cone looking thing. It ended up not being necessary. But what I did was added a piece of felt to the top of the forehead that would cover all the way the top of my head and I glued another piece on the bottom side. I just added this part so that I could attach a elastic headband. Oh my God, my fridge. That is an awful sound. Sorry. <laughs> if you don't wanna sew, you can just safety pin a headband inside. Measure out how long and how wide you want Oogie's head to be and then cut it out of a brown jute or burlap fabric. I cut out a long angular sheet in that length and I layered it over the mask. And then I just lightly drew in some lines for the mouth and the face. Then I cut those and I started to hot glue, mold and press down the fabric over the mask until it started to look really good and I got really excited and I didn't think it would come out this good, but I love it. And make sure you get a tool. I would just use the end of my Sharpie, but get a tool so you can really press in there into the hot glue, in the fabric and good stuff. Yeah. Then I cut my rectangle piece into a cone shape and made a back side for it and then hot glued those two pieces together, the mask side and the back side, inside out, just like you would when you're sewing. So when you turn it right side out, you get those nice seams like you would if you were actually sewing. Once the whole head is glued together, make a couple stitches in the back of the cone part so that it folds nicely instead of sticking straight out. Think floppy wizard hat. And then you can add a tiny bit of stuffing to the tip of the cone if you want. This will add a little bit of weight so that it will flop over in the back of your head like a floppy wizard hat. Oogie's body is kind of a star-shaped blob. If your fabric is wide enough, you can just lay out on it and trace over your entire bodies, including your arms and feet, and be good. But I was too tall for my material, so I had to make separate limbs. 
I had Wesley trace over my body on the fabric and then I drew Oogie's shape around the tracing. Think blob. For my arms and legs, I either measured out or traced a shape onto the fabric directly to fit both shapes, limbs, things, whatever, makes sense. <laughs> Remember that for each piece, you're going to need both a front and a back. So torso, arms, feet, you need two of each. Inside the lower belly part of Oogie, I wanted to add some stuffing pockets so that we could give Oogie that gorgeous figure that he has. I drew out pieces of brown felt that would fit inside the belly. I hot glued the edges down filled the layers with stuffing. I was going to glue down the opening, but it made a weird line across his torso, so I left it open. This will also let me remove the stuffing so that when I go to store Oogie, he's smaller. Once Oogie is properly fed and stuffed, you can start to hot glue all of the seams together, right sides together, and then turn them right side out to have beautiful seams. Be sure that you leave open the arm and the leg holes as well as the shoulders and neck because that's where you will be stepping into the costume. I forgot to film it, but make sure you hot glue Oogie's arms in place in the armholes. And then for the feet, I just tied a string around my calves to hold up the little booties. I found this black jute cord at Walmart for only a dollar. You can use yarn or some kind of thick string and it would be better if you had one of those really thick needles. I didn't have one, so I struggled. But you just have to make Oogie's stitches on all of the side seams. You just do straight or make a little X's randomly, crooked stitches, it looks really cool. Just on all of the side seams, on the side of his body, the side of his head, his arms and legs. To get in and out of the costume, I added some Velcro at the shoulders. So I added the Velcro on one side, made sure that they were together, the two pieces of Velcro. And then I added Velcro on top, and then I folded it over to the other side of the shoulder. Don't get hot glue on your floor. <laughs> and then to make the stitches match up, I just took apart the Velcro and then I sewed around the side of the Velcro that was on the top. If you're feeling extra, you can take some brown paint that's slightly darker than the fabric and just paint on some extra details to his face and his belly because he's got all those little wrinkles because he's chunky. And then my friends, you are done with the most amazing costume ever, if I do say so myself. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a like down below, maybe share it with someone who loves Nightmare Before Christmas. You know, tag a friend or something, um, you know, whatever. This is cool and I want people to see it. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye. Smile. It's a video. Oh, <laughs> oh, you vlogging? <laughs> They're tootsies. These are weird tootsies. Zip me. Zip me up. Is it going up to me up? <laughs> Jaffrey.